Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are looking at a Morrowind mod called Apoapsis Alchemy. As usual, let's have a look at the description. It says, this mod introduces offensive alchemy, poisons, in a low-friendly, balanced and entertaining fashion. It adds a selection of magical traps. You can store a single potion in a trap. When an NPC or creature gets near, the trap explodes and applies the potion to everybody nearby. It works with all potions, whether vanilla, mod added or player med. All right, let's, uh, let's give this a shot, shall we? We are in Balmora, the center of the world. I've already purchased an apprentice alchemical matrix. This one was worth a uh, hundred septims. You can see the weight is three units and I can use this one five times. The range or the levels of the matrices goes from apprentice to grandmaster. As the quality improves, the weight goes down, the value increases and the number of times you can use it increases as well. The description says that you can use you can now use poison. That is true. However, you can also use basically any potion, whether it's something that is beneficial something that's going to have a negative effect or even booze yes you can get people drunk without them knowing so this is how it works very simply hopefully she's going to start walking soon i'm just going to drop my matrix there when you drop it you can pick it up without any consequence however the moment you've activated it which means the moment you've placed a potion let's start with something friendly the moment you've put a potion in there sure you can pick it up but you're going to lose your potion and i see she's just about to walk towards me let's uh you know what let's make her drunk there we go you shouldn't be drinking so much so this is how it works it's fairly quite simple um the NPCs that can be targeted actually can be absolutely anything or anyone. It can be a friendly NPC, just as I've used now. It can be obviously a hostile NPC, but as well it could be a creature, friendly or hostile, even a corpse. So you do want to be careful when you drop your matrix. Let me put this here. There we go. And just let it happen. The effects of the potion can be positive or negative, which is pretty cool. Like, do, depending on how you want to play, you could imagine you have companions, you are no good at casting spells, or you want to heal all of them. Just drop a matrix between, you know, you and your companions, and you're all going to benefit from the spell. As you can see, that is one of the downsides. The matrixes have collision, and I can get... I can get stuck in them, NPCs can get stuck in them as well. But then again, you know, they ought to watch their steps, don't you think? So if we go back to the description, there it is. Uh, offensive alchemy, true. Finally, finally, you can make use of those, you know, red potions, the one with negative effects. It's, it's opening you know, a whole new side of alchemy. I call it the dark side of alchemy. But suddenly you can do a lot more with alchemy, including it, it is a viable way to fight. So that's very, very cool. Um, lore friendly, it does work, it does work. I'm not super keen on the shape of the matrix. I would rather have traps, something flatter at least, so NPCs don't get stuck on it. But otherwise, yes, it is law friendly, balanced to those potions. You know, when you're grinding your alchemy skill, you shouldn't, but you do because, you know, you want to improve it and you make whatever potion, reduce whatever attribute, whatever skills. Well, now you're not just making pointless potions. You can actually use them. So I love that about it. Entertaining. Well, I've certainly enjoyed watching my NPC's friends trigger the the matrix is so as far as i'm concerned uh, i can say without any hesitation that it does what it says on the tin i've also checked the mod it is clean it is bug free i didn't get any warning and well it brings the dark side of alchemy which is a whole new aspect of the game something something new you can finally role play an alchemist and use your skill 
you know, to survive. In the downsides, I've put requirements. Uh, it's really not necessarily a downside, but you're going to need to have uh, Morrowind Script Extender 2.0, which is, I believe, the latest version. However, you're going to need the beta version of MGEXE. It is all in the description. You can just follow the link and download what you need. So it's not necessarily a requirement, but I do know that it can be a little daunting to you know, tweak your, your third party programs, you could, you could break your game or not. I did already say that I think the mesh deserve a bit of tweaking, make it flatter, remove collision, though I'm not sure you can do that, or make it look like a trap. I put immersive with a question mark because I am not entirely sure that I would want to repeatedly drop a matrix, open it, put a potion, close it, run away from it until the enemy triggers it. I think it might get a little repetitive, but I haven't tried it with, you know, an actual playing character, so I can't quite comment on that. This is this is it. This is it, guys. This is definitely a mod that I'm going to want to try because I'm a sucker for mods that allow me to role play a specific character. Might use it in combination with um what was it called? Alchemy Arsenal? Alchemical Arsenal? Something else, something to make alchemy really uh, a skill that could be at the center of my character. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know, do you like to use alchemy in your uh, games? Do you think you would like to use traps such as they are in this mod? Do let me know, I'll be happy to reply to your comments. See you next week. Bye bye.